The Presidential Commission of Inquiry has reiterated it is governed by a mandate. Zulfik Farzan reports on Bondgate. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry issued a statement this morning where it clearly states that the Commission has been very careful to ensure that only witnesses whose evidence is relevant and necessary will be called before this Commission of Inquiry. Now, the Commission makes it clear that it will not call witnesses whose evidence is not necessary or relevant merely because various persons express opinions in the media and other forums that these witnesses should be summoned. The Commission emphasizes that they are strictly governed by the mandate vested upon them. The Commission today questioned CEO of Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Kasun Palisena, on the PTL telephone conversation recording system. The Attorney General's Department stated the phone conversation recordings given by PTL contain 700 calls per day. The AGES Department reiterated it finds it difficult to identify the transaction times as the recordings provided only contain the date. When asked how long it will take for Kasun Palisena to sort out the phone recordings and revert to the Commission, he said he would require a month. It came to light the system only records calls and does not mention if the call was an outgoing or incoming one. PTL presented its transactions in a series of folders before the Commission and the information was extracted from the DealNet system. The AGES Department noted Transfer of bonds must be recorded in the Lanka Secure System, adding that if it is not indicated in the system, it is not according to the law. The AGES Department highlighted it will challenge any transaction put forward by PTL which is not indicated in the Lanka Secure System. According to Kasun Palisena, all details are recorded in the Lanka Secure System. The backup of the DealNet system was taken by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka on the 6th of July 2017, the day the monetary board suspended PTL from carrying on business and other activities as a primary dealer. PTL today produced documentation to challenge the capital gain calculation by CBSL Additional Director of IT Vasanta Alves. When the Commission questioned the theory used for this purpose, PTL said it was an accounting standard. The Presidential Commission said PTL must produce said accounting standards to establish its claims. The evidence of Kasun Palisena was led by the attorneys appearing for Perpetual Treasuries Limited.